From Nicaragua to Panama, and after a chance encounter at last year's British Bird Fair, I'm here with the Canopy family. They've got a series of lodges dotted over Panama in different habitats. And for now, I'm in the rainforest at Canopy Lodge. Behind me, I've got a series of banana feeders with euphonias and tanagers coming to visit. I've been handed the checklist, which holds over 615 species of bird. And out in the forest, there's sloths and toucans. I'm really excited about what the next few days is gonna hold and what I'm gonna be able to catch on camera. It's pretty nuts. I spent four months in Nicaragua and saw two sloths. And today is my first day in Panama, walking along this road. And here is my second sloth of the day. He's not sleeping, he's scratching his ass. And uh, perfect, the sky's a bit white, but it adds a little bit of a high key image but still it's a sloth out in the open and actually doing something we've noticed when the sun comes out that on these rocks down here basilisk lizards come out of the undergrowth to bask and soak up the sun so while it's chilly i'm going to go set my tripod up put my camera there on a remote release and then come back up here and hopefully the basilisk lizards will come and bask and i'll get a few wide angle shots and the sun came out and so did the basilisk. Not one, but two out on the rock. We've been following her. For the last few minutes, and we finally come across a small flock of whooping mop mops. And they're perching all around. It's a pretty cluttered environment. The light's not very good. They're perching all around, dropping down on spiders and beetles. But even in this kind of shady light, the blue crown on their head really pops right out at you. I just gotta wait for them to go on the perfect perch for a photo. At Canopy Lodge, we had those whooping mop mots, and here at Canopy Tower, we're actually on the access road at the minute, and there's a pair of broad billed mop mots, and because the bank shears away from the road, you can be eye level as they perch up looking for insects to feast upon. Above me is probably the cutest species we've seen so far in Panama, a pair of Panamanian night monkeys. And as the name suggests, they'd normally be out in the dark, but here they're roosting and they're just having a little stretch. I think one's trying to get the best view possible, but they're incredibly sleepy. I guess resting up before a night of foraging tonight. We've been walking along the Canopy Camp Trail for about an hour now and you might be able to hear the crashing above me and there's a big troop of white-headed capuchins but the struggle is is actually getting a shot of them. They pop their head out for a second, look at us, how the monkeys as well. They pop their head out, look at us for a second and then disappear again, jump to the next branch. It's really tricky to actually get a clean shot. We lost sight of the capuchins and the rain is really falling heavily now, so we've headed back to camp. But here from my veranda, I might look a bit ridiculous, but at this angle, I've got the perfect view of a white-necked puffbird. And you very rarely get a clear view of anything in the jungle, so I'm trying to use the natural foliage as a natural frame and um, make the animal pop out that way. Today has been all about one bird, and that bird is the national bird of Panama, the harpy eagle. And I didn't expect to get the chance on this trip to see one, let alone photograph it, but there's a juvenile up in the limbs of this tree, perfectly framed by the foliage, devouring the remains of a sloth. We haven't strayed far from camp this morning. I'm about 100 metres from my tent to check on this camera trap, which hasn't actually got anything yet on it. But whilst here, Gabrielle here is on fire. He spotted some kind of forest falcon perched up with a toucan right behind, so that made quite a cool shot. And then over here in this tree, that hole had a green and black poison dart frog perched perfectly framed, and he hung about a bit catching tiny little flies. But now he's headed off as well. But it just goes to show you don't need to walk all over the place. I'm near camp and I'm in one position and I've got two cool photographs. Unfortunately, our time here in Panama is coming to an end with the Canopy family, but what a time it's been. We've seen so much. At the minute, I've got 
a white-tailed trogon pruning above me and that's just one of around 200 species of bird we've seen in the past couple of weeks. We've seen tons of primates, obviously that harpy eagle has been a standout moment for me, a myriad of butterflies, hummingbirds, parrots, toucans, <laughs> this place has got it all. But the wildlife doesn't stop here for us, we're off to Brazil next.